Hi, how's it going? Are you an aspiring teacher and wanted to work in the United States? And this video is for you. This content is about my actual visa interview experience. So I had it on the 10th of July this year. And praise God, I got my visa approved. So the actual documents needed, the timeline and the processes, I will show all these so you can have a vivid view of what will happen. I even made a map of the US Embassy for you to easily navigate the process. Okay, now let's start with preparation. First, to begin with is study your DS-160. All the information you provided there must be memorized. Okay, so the questions is found only there. And second, be there two hours before your schedule. For example, 9 a.m. So you need to be there 7 a.m. Third, bring complete documents. I have another video for that on the complete documents. Not just the required documents, but the supporting documents as the consul might ask you of uh, follow-up questions and you need uh, proof of evidence. Fourth is to bring your pen. I thought this was, this was not needed but on one of the windows in the pre-screening I was asked of it so please bring a pen. Okay I, I think it depends on the uh, staff but in my case they asked me so I don't have one so I ask the staff Fifth is bring your vaccine certificate before you can enter the U.S. Embassy. They need to find this. And I miss this as well. I am not taught to bring this one. So bring your vaccine certificate, okay? I haven't brought my vaccine certificate, so I asked them and they allowed me. Okay, six, wear your mask. But inside, I, you can actually... Uh, take it off. They will not ask of you to wear it. Seventh is wear casual attire because you are in an interview. You must be presentable, not over uh, formal or overdressed, but just a casual. Ninth is do not bring any gadget. It is not allowed. Your phone, your any other gadgets you have. So it would be better if you have a company with you who will wait outside where you can uh, give your bags or your gadgets. If you don't have one, then you will you must uh, leave it in the hotel you are in. And of course, bring your money. If you're H-1B, you need to bring your uh, reciprocity fee in dollars or in peso. That would be fine. Our credit card would fine as well so here's the timeline so my visa interview schedule was at 9 a.m. so I arrived there 7 10 because of traffic so you must anticipate that I started the process at 7 15 and I waited for 15 minutes so I was able to enter at the US Embassy itself at 7 30 that's a step one 820 step 2 850 step 3 and 910 is the end of the process I was able to go out after 910 so that's my schedule 9 a.m. but actually it will start as soon as you arrive okay now let's try to navigate the process so I made this uh, map okay so the, this is US Embassy in the Philippines so this is the building and this is the outside of the US Embassy and this is no not not outside the US Embassy outside of the building and then still this is part of the US Embassy and this is the gate and the road so if it's 9 a.m. you need to anticipate two hours before 7 10 7 okay so this is the road of course you need to have a taxi or a grab or if you're familiar I'm not from Manila so I took a grab okay so the grab will stop here not in the gate but in here and you can see a lot of people here 
this is the loading area okay and you can see a lot of people here when you are here you need to leave your gadgets and other stuff and bring all the documents only you can have a clear book or any other documents so this is the start of the process so you just walk there and you can see an entrance in this part you need to hand in some of the documents and these are the documents your VAC certificate your confirmation letter that you have a, you have visa appointment already your notice of action that is needed as well your passport and of course your 2x2 two two picture you need to have all this be in the entrance okay they will check all of those after that you will be given a blue pamphlet this is your rights so you need to read this along the way so that's the first step okay so that's the entrance so when you're done you're given the pamphlet you walk a little bit and you can see a little building then you go inside that building and this part is a check-in that means they will check if you bring anything and you check if uh, for security purposes okay so that's check in that's a little building and then you go out that building and then you see here okay you and then in this part there's a, a small stall that is called up if you do not have a picture yet and be sure your picture is uh, according to the visa requirement because if not you will go outside again if you're here and you go outside again so be sure to do that okay so you you get your number here if there are a lot of people and you sit down they will call you after okay so after you have that you go here and then you stay in here so there's a mini store there so you can sit actually sit down in this place there are a lot of chairs and this is actually this blue part is the u.s embassy building if it's 9 a.m then you can go inside i was able to go inside 7 30 but you need to wait okay so there's a person in here you can ask the person in here but you will sit down in here okay and they will you will wait because uh, until the security guard will allow you to go inside so you stay here so when you are here you can read the pamphlet and review your the questions okay so now let's go to the building itself okay so there are two doors here door two and door one door two is for non-immigrant and door one is for the immigrant so you will not go inside door one but you will go inside door two for the non-immigrant okay but you wait for instruction as well so for door two it's non-immigrant it includes the tourist visa and all other visas so there is only one line for all the non-immigrant visa like the tourist visa like the student visa the j1h1 in my case i think there are no teachers there most of it are tourists okay so just one line okay so you need to go inside and then there's again a check up of your documents and your and anything for security purposes go inside here and then you have to wait at the the line is the waiting game okay the process is just easy but because there are a lot of applicants it would be longer so the line is here okay so the line is here you need to wait we also have a CR here if you want to have uh, you want to pee or defecate and here an elevator as well for going to the second floor so we wait here we wait here we wait here in this part okay and here and then we have the pre-screening so that's the first step 
So pre-screening, they will look for these documents. Your NOAA, your passport, your 2x2 picture, and your pen. They will not look for your pen, but be sure to bring your pen. Okay? Okay. Uh, your pen will be used to write your name because you will be given a yellow slip later on. Okay, so in this pre-screening part, you will be giving your password and your NOAA and they will verify your 2x2 picture. Actually, they will not get your 2x2 picture hard copy. They will only verify your 2x2 picture with the picture you uploaded in their site. Okay, so this time... Uh, in here, you will just be asked of your name, your complete name, and then your birthday. So you must memorize your name and your birthday, of course. Okay, you need to have that. And you will be asked if you're H1B, you will be asked if you are able to pay the uh, reciprocity fee. That is the time where you use your pen to write your name. Okay, so that's the first step, pre-screening, and then you will be given a yellow slip, okay? After your pre-screening, there's another line in here. You need to wait again for the line. After that, you go to step two. These are windows, okay? Window six, seven, eight, nine, you will be assigned. And here there's another video window I mean one two uh, I, I forgot the number of windows in here so this is the fingerprinting where you will uh, scan your fingers okay so in this place you will also be asked of your name complete name and your birthday and what are the documents needed only your passport and your notice of action so if the staff will ask you to flip your uh, passport in the back part there's a, a barcode there you will just uh, lean it to the window because they will scan the barcode okay so uh, they will ask you to lean it and flip it on the side so that they can scan the barcode then you will be asked questions what is your complete name and your birthday okay so you're done with step two and then you will do the fingers okay all your you know that after you're done with the step two then we proceed to the step three so this is the line of the step three if there are a lot of people then and you are here they you will be asked to sit down first and to wait for your interview so that's the last step and that's a crucial step so wait for your interview so there's a lot of console in there okay majority of the consoles are uh, jolly and they're not serious but there are serious console okay so that's the step three so when you are if it's your time you wait for the and then you line here again if there are people so line again then wait for your interview and then there you will have your interview so the questions i will make another video for that for the questions actual interview questions so in this part you will be asked of three things your passport of course your notice of action and please bring your all the documents because there might be questions that will be asked like huh, your marriage certificate if you are married so on and so forth and then if you have the and then after that i think uh, around three minutes or less and this approved congratulations okay and then if you're h1b you are you will be asked to pay your your visa or reciprocity fee so if you're done here you go a little bit here and then 
you go outside through window no, door one there's an exit here this part and then after that you go inside again to door two after you go to door two you can see an elevator I think in this part okay you go to elevator so go to second floor when you are it's in the second floor you go to cashier in the second floor and the documents needed is your yellow slip and money okay so you need to bring your yellow slip and your money and wait for the receipt and after you get that you can pay either pass or dollar and you get the receipt you go back again you go to the elevator go down go outside and go back to door one after that in here okay and then you go again to the consul who interviewed you and they will tell you again visa approved then you can go out through the exit okay in door one then you walk here a little bit go to check in again there's an exit here and then there's a door here exit and you can go outside so yeah that is the process if you have further questions you can ask me there might be some of the information in regards to uh, the ways but you can ask the staff there if you have further questions and you can contact me in my facebook William Lozada Ramos Jr.